Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today you guys can see everything is different. So we got new lighting. I don't know if you guys can tell. I'm still playing with it. I don't know what I like and what I don't like. Obviously, we got this new background going. We got some of the plushies back here behind and I know I'm still wearing the same old mic. But here's a new mic literally right over here. You guys can see it's nicely set up. It's just there's a little bit of recording issues that I'm having with it right now. It is working. Um, everything I have all the pieces I now need for it. It's just the only issue is that there's just this little weird background noise that keeps happening only when I use this mic. So for today's video, we're not going to be using it. I mean, we're going to be calling with someone I know in music, cough, cough, cartridge, and um, hopefully he can help me out and we can get this problem solved. But for now, we're going to be recording with this. So what we're going to be doing today is the top five brawlers and brawl stars at the moment. And let me tell you, this, this list is crazy. It's completely changed on what it was from last meta. And I am I think I really, really, really like the current meta. So that being said, let's hop into the first game and let's see who the fifth best brawler in Brawl Stars is. So starting off at number five, I realized I might have leaked this during the <laughs> intro, but we have none other than Sandy. Now Sandy obviously was the best brawler in the prior meta. She was really, really good. And to, to be honest, I mean, or he is, uh, sorry, not she. He was really, really good. And to be honest, he still is. He's amazing. He can do a lot. Um, still get many kills and have really good matchups against most, most other brawlers. I mean, he's just really, 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 really good. And obviously, the invisibility is just broken. Um, there's there's no weakness to Sandy. Good on every single map and every single mode. Let's drop this down right here. And then they have no clue where we are. Not bad against any brawlers. It's just Sandy is very, very, very OP. There's no other way to put it right now. Pugnail's going to walk that one in the net. Brawl Ball is obviously one of the best modes for Sandy. Um, Siege is really good. Jump Grab is really good. Heist, not so much. Showdown, not bad. Duo Showdown, not bad. Lone Star, not bad. Like, you name the mode, and she is probably, or he, sorry, is probably just amazing at it. Um, the only one where I'd say not so much is, like, Takedown. But Takedown is really interesting. There's a very clear meta in Takedown. If you don't go with that meta, you're usually screwed. I'm going to put that one... Oh, didn't go in. My bad. I'm trying to put that one down on the right. He's probably going to be able to get that kill. I guess we could talk about Sandy a little bit more. So Lone Star, obviously really good. Solo Showdown, really good. Takedown, not as much. All the 3v3 modes outside of Heist, I would recommend Sandy. Maybe not so much in Bounty. Let me get the heals going. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out! Going to go down, but that's fine. And again, invisibility is always really broken. When Leon first came out, it, Leon was broken with the invisibility. And now it's the same thing with Sandy. So we're just going to focus this Colt over here. Only two more shots for Super. I really didn't want the ball there. Going to be staying near Pugnail since Pugnail does counter both of these Brawlers. Oh, I don't know why Pug didn't Super. I guess he was saving it for the Primo. He's going to go down though. 20 seconds left. It's actually looking really, really close here. I don't have a stun, so we're going to have to do enough damage to get this kill. We are going to be able to do so. I'm going to get the left side of the net. We're going to be able to get that save. And again, I'm just going to stay near Pug in case that Mortis decides to come near us. Going to be backed up. Oh, might get full clipped. Going to put the invisibility down. And there's like no way we're losing the game at this point. Going to be able to pick up that kill. Doing a little bit more damage. And that is going to end the first game. And that's going to show you guys what the number 5 brawler in Brawl Stars is right now. Moving on to number 4. Let's hop into the game and let's see which brawler we put in at number 4. Okay, so coming in at the number 4 spot. We're going to have Rosa. Now, Rosa obviously is a really, really good brawler in 3v3. She's not as good in Showdown, though, so I can't cut her that slack. Um, in Lone Star, again, not bad, but nothing exceptional. To be able to take out that spike there. But in 3v3 mode, she's just goaded. You guys literally just saw me run through two people. I'm gonna put that ball in the net. And I mean, there's not enough I can say about Rosa in 3v3. Brawl Ball, she's one of the, arguably the best brawlers. Siege, she very much most likely is the best brawler in that mode. Gonna tank some shots there. Gonna use our super, be able to get this kill. Her star powers are also really good. The, the first one's a little bit map dependent. Obviously, if there's more grass, you wanna be using that one. If there isn't as much grass, you wanna use the second one. But I mean, she's just really good. She beats every single tank at basically any range, especially with her super. Gonna pop the super. And it's like we're not even getting hurt, gonna pick up another kill. It's basically like a temporary invincibility, if that is even a thing in Brawl Stars. Oh! 
Idiakis is going to bait Pugnail there. That was pretty funny. Going to be able to pick up that kill. The Frank's going to have the ball. He has super selected. Hopefully he unselects it for his sake. Going to get away from that. Going to pop our super and get close. Doing a ton of damage right now. We're going to go down, but we did a ton, a ton, a ton of damage. So hopefully our team can finish it up over there. But again, not much I, not much else I can say about Rosa. Also very good at gem grab. Bounty, she's not bad in some of the maps. Heist, I would say though, she's not the greatest. So you guys can see a common trend with these brawlers I have on this list. is They might not be the best at Heist. Because Heist is a pretty clear meta. It's kind of just like thrower with one range and a tank. And usually tanks are only good at, at Heist or like takedown such as Bull for example. Wow, that spike is going off on us right there. Gonna juke that shot. Oh, the RNG is still going to hit us. We're going to go down. 88 keys is the only one on defense. Going to get one pull. Pugnail is going to pop his super. Get that kill. Pop his super again. Really good play over there. Going to slow down. Wait for this Frank to do something. Going to go get this ball. Pugnail is going to take care of that. And again, we've been doing really good. Um, as for matchups, the only thing Rosa doesn't really do well against is a... Uh, is a Shelly, but if you can avoid Shellys, you're pretty much set with Rosa. As you guys can see, oh, we were going to win that game. Guess we just won it. Um, if you can stay away from Shellys with Rosa, you're basically golden. Spike isn't too bad again, so we're going to get the star player there. And let's hop into the third game now, and I'll show you guys. Now, these three are going to be a huge surprise, especially the next two. Let's hop into the next two and show you guys what the top three brawlers are in Brawl Stars. Okay, so coming in at number three, we actually have Daryl. And yes, you guys heard me right. It is Daryl. Now, Daryl was arguably the worst, probably tied there with Frag for brawlers in the game, but now he is really, really, really good. I actually played a very intense competitive match yesterday, and I actually whipped out the Daryl and very much hard carried the game. He's just a really, really good brawler now. Before, what slowed him down was just, you know, his second star power wasn't that good, and he didn't have the best damage or the best health, but they reworked him, and he's honestly just a beast now. You guys can see just from that play alone, I'm very I'm able to very easily take out two people. And I almost have my super back. Again, I have the passive, passive super, so I have to do a stand here and do nothing. He's really good in heist, really good in brawl ball now. I haven't tried him out that much in gem grab, but I wouldn't be shocked if he was really good there as well. We're going to go down just at the end before we score a goal. But there's no, I mean, there's just no way he's not good. He's really good in showdown now. He's good in lone star, good in takedown. He's just a good brawler all around now. And I wouldn't be surprised if maybe we just don't know how to fully play him yet. And he's actually maybe the best brawler in the game. We're going to have to figure things out still. But as of right now, I'm going to put him at number three for his complete all-around play. Again, with weaknesses, it's kind of the same as Rosa. You want to stay away from the Shellys. Because the Shellys will take you out very, very easily. Good pull over there by 88 keys. We're going to be able to get that goal. One to nothing. But yeah, you guys can see I'm doing really, really well this game. I'm going to just try picking up the ball and getting a goal, which is something you can do with very few brawlers, and one of them is Daryl. We're going to be able to pick up a kill there. Probably going to go down, though, unfortunately. We are, but it should be fine. We caused a lot of havoc. And the best part about Daryl is when you roll in and get a successful super, you get your super back, or you're basically five seconds off of getting your super. So that's really, really amazing. Also, the stun effect, you guys know. Having stun is really important, especially in Brawl Ball. You guys see I have my super back from just getting another kill. Rico's going to try supering us. We're going to juke it. Going to push the ball off to the side. Oh, we almost got that, but we bumped two people and got a full shot. So we're going to have our super back. Doesn't really matter. Going to get it back. Let's see how close we are. We're a little bit over halfway, so it should take about 10 seconds unless I get a couple chip shots, which isn't really the hardest thing in the world. Got a couple. There we go. Got my super back. Going to pick up the ball. Roll past the Spoko. We actually are able to get a kill. And we're just going to put the ball in the net. And that is going to be the game. So again, you guys can see just how broken Daryl is. I, I haven't played Daryl in a very long time. You guys can see he's only 575. I pushed him 800 like four seasons ago. But he's just an absolute wrecking ball. Very dominant. Very good in every th just every mode now. Now we're going to hop into number two. And this one is probably the biggest surprise since he didn't get touched. But due to the current meta, this guy got way better. Let's hop into it and let's show you guys who the number two brawler is. Okay, so here we go into the, the fourth game. And here we go. The number two brawler in the game, Carl. Now, Carl is really, really, really good. But you need the second star power. The first star power is not what makes it good. It's the second star power because you counter everything if you have the second star power. This Rico is spinning because he's facing us. We're going to be able to pick up that kill. And let me, give, let me just show you guys how OP it is. We literally don't get hurt with the second star power. 
to try and trick shot that in. That's not going to work. This Rico is spinning. He, Carl's literally just so, so good. He can take out anybody because of his star power. We're both going to go left side here. If it's squishy, you can kind of just poke it from range. But if it's like a Rosa, for example, you just throw your shots. You roll right onto it, and they can't hurt you because you have your shield. We're able to get a double kill over there. 88 Keys is going to pass the ball up to us. And if matters aren't worse already, like we have 6k HP. We can just walk that one in. I feel like we didn't show you guys enough Carl. So let's hop into the second game with Carl, and we'll just keep talking about him. Okay, so into the second game with Carl. To continue talking, 3v3 modes. He's obviously a god at Brawl Ball. Heist, he's actually very playable in. Um, gem Grab, obviously very, very playable. And Bounty, he's actually not bad, even though I wouldn't suggest him necessarily. He's probably the best brawler on the list at Heist, which is actually pretty rare for a top brawler to be good at Heist. Able to pick up our, the kill on our lane there. He's also really easy to auto aim with, so that's also an advantage for a lot of you guys are able to pick up a kill over there. 88 Keys now has the ball. He's going to pass it up to us. We're going to go for the trick shot. It's not going to work. We're going to be able to get two kills on our death though. And the super is also really easy to charge and really easy to get back. The only thing that you have to be careful with when you're using your super is that you don't go into like a Shelly or a Primo with jump or something that could stun you. And then just because you're going to be right beside the person that stunned you and you're just not going to have the HP to survive or, you know, the speed to get that kill. So we're going to be able to get a double kill over there. Pugnail has the ball. We're going to try and go for the kill on this Rico. We're going to get one shot off. Pug's going to pick up the ball again. And we're just going to use our super. Cut through these guys. The spike is going to stay alive, but... With our shot, we're going to be able to get that kill pretty easily. And we could kill this. Oh, I guess we have the ball. We're going to put it in the net. But anyways, he's also really good at takedown. He's pretty decent at Lone Star since you can since you can charge his super really, really easily. And in Showdown, he's not bad. I would definitely recommend him in Duo Showdown more than Showdown. But honestly, who knows? We're going to get that shot there. It's also really important you take a shot before you spin so you charge your super even more. You guys can see I got my super right back. 88 Keys has the ball. He's going to pass that to us. We're just chilling over here. Going to use our super again. Going to be able to really easily take out that Nita. 88 Keys is going to go down. Going for shots on that Rico. Unable to hit. Almost got that spike. It's going to be left at one shot. It's uh, it's not bad DPS. You definitely have the health because you have 6.1k health. You actually have more health. Than a Daryl does, which is pretty interesting. Well, I think you have more health than a Daryl. Might be different now, actually. Gonna pop our super. Just spin up to this guy. It could also be a speed boost if you guys need one. You need to get up the map really fast. If it's like the end of a brawl ball game and you want to have multiple options to put the ball in the net, you can do that. But anyways, that is going to end our game. And that's going to end Carl. So Carl is really good. You guys saw by that. In those two games. We're gonna hop into one more game to show you guys who the best brawler in the game is. And to be honest. This meta is really good because nobody's really that bad and nobody's really that good. But I believe this brawler is the undoubtable number one brawler in this meta. Let's hop into it and let's show you guys exactly who it is. Okay, so here we go into our final game. And the number one brawler in the current meta is going to be Spike. Now, what happened with Spike exactly? How is he so good all of a sudden? Let's tell you guys. So basically what happened with Spike is he had the star power curveball. And all the top players in the game absolutely hated Curveball. They thought it was just the worst star power in the game. It was no skill. There was no reasoning to use it. I mean, like, just why would you make such an annoying, obnoxious star power and put it in the game on an already broken brawler? So Supercell decided the best way to fix it, instead of nerving Curveball, since a lot of the lower players don't think it's broken because they don't know how to juke it or they don't know how to shoot it properly, is they're going to upgrade or buff his first star power. So what exactly happened when they upgraded his first star power? They brought his heals per second while in the star power to 800 per second. Now if you guys don't understand how much 800 per second is, say a Jessie shoots you. She'll do 1.1 thousand. If you just stand in your super, you lose only 300 health per second against a Jessie while being one of the highest DPS brawlers in the game. Like, that is just literally insane. Like, it, it makes no sense to me. I'm not complaining. Since I love Spike, my teammates love Spike, we probably have the best Spike on the competitive scene in OG. So it's super, super cool that Spike is back in the meta, but it just makes absolutely no sense. I, I've seen clips of OG just literally walk through teams. The only thing that would counter Spike before would be the Mortis. 
and literally Mortis doesn't counter. I know he just scored a goal over there, but that's not a one-on-one -on -one counter. That's just him scoring your goal. Literally, Spike is just unreal, and it's almost impossible to beat it, to be honest, since he has no more counters. The only counter was Mortis primarily, and now it's not it anymore. You guys can see I'm just standing in here, taking shots, gaining health, but you guys also notice you that you have, you have an amazing range on top of already just being an amazing brawler. Can use our super right there. No way that Mortis is getting that ball in the net. 25 more seconds left in the game. Can you get a shot off over there? Honestly, this this comp is really obnoxious. And what Spike does really well against is tanks. But we're not facing any tanks, so that sucks. But we can still make Spike work, even though we haven't done the best job so far. Pog's going to get that kill over there, which is really important. And when the game goes to overtime, even though they have range, you still outrange everyone due to your RNG. And if you know how to control the little RNGs, then Spike is amazing. I, I can do it pretty decently well, but I can't do it every time. I'm going to use this for self-healing. Get back to full HP really quickly while still shooting these deadly shots. Going to pass off that ball to Pug. We're going to go down, but it doesn't matter since both of our teammates have super. Pugnail is going to super that one into the net, and that is going to be game. Now, I know I didn't show you the best representation of Spike, but you guys have to believe me when I say he is by far. Well, not by far, not like Sandy Broken or original Leon Broken or original Rosa Broken, but he is definitely the best brawler in the game. And anyways, that is going to end the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. That is going to be it for today. I hope you guys liked the new background, the new lighting. The new mic is going to be set up hopefully by next video, but that is going to be it. I will catch you guys later. Thank you guys for all the support. Next video is going to be a banger. I will catch you then. Peace.